Hello again everyone, welcome to Paulina's Kitchen Canada. Today I will be making a salt and pepper fried chicken using the drumstick or chicken legs part. I have here five pieces of chicken legs that I'm going to brine with salt and water. I will fill the bowl with water to cover the chicken, then I will add one tablespoon of salt. Make sure to mix well to dissolve the salt into the water. And depending on the quantity of chicken you are using, you may want to add more salt than brine for 15 to 30 minutes, then drain and rinse to remove the excess salt. Trust me, the fried chicken will be too salty without rinsing. After rinsing the chicken legs, I will cut them into a butterfly cut. You may already know this butterfly technique, but I will show how I do it anyway. You will need a sharp knife and a pair of scissors. I will demonstrate it this way. Just follow what I do in this video. Cutting the legs into a butterfly cut will result in a super crispy and crunchy fried chicken. You will want to try this method the next time you crave home cooked fried chicken. It's fun and delicious. I suggest you watch this video until the end. And without further ado, let's start the cooking process and keep on watching. This would be a great time for me to ask everyone to subscribe if you are new to my channel. I thank all who are already subscribed to my channel and keep on supporting each other by liking this video, leave a review, and please watch until the end. Thank you again, my friends. This will help inspire me to make more videos. Now, let's go back to the chicken. After butterflying, I had to rinse the chicken again to wash off some bloody spots. I also need to dry with paper towels so the oil will not splash during the frying process. I have here a combination of plain flour and a cornstarch, one half cup flour and one fourth cup cornstarch. First, I will have to season the chicken with salt and pepper. I said at the beginning that this is a plain and simple salt and pepper fried chicken and so my friends i'm adding only salt and pepper to this recipe it will just as well be a super delicious fried chicken you will see i will sprinkle salt and pepper on all the cavities and oh the pepper smells so good in here already i am now ready to start the frying process the oil is now heating up to a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. My assembly line is ready as well. I only need to dust the pieces of chicken with a mixture of flour and cornstarch, then gently slide them into the oil, just like this. I will fry them for about 5 to 6 minutes on each side or until they turn into golden brown. After frying, I will turn the heat off and drain the chicken on a paper towel or wire rack. I will cool them for about two to three minutes, then turn the heat on again, wait until the oil heats up again, then double fry the chicken for 30 to 45 seconds up to a minute. The result of double frying method is a deliciously crispy and crunchy fried chicken and crunchy and crispy until the next day or so. I will finally take them out, drain on a paper towel again, then I will sprinkle salt and pepper while it's hot. So here is my plain and simple salt and pepper fried chicken legs. Here I have made again a plain and simple dipping sauce consisting of vinegar, honey and chopped up spring onions or green onions. I find that vinegar is perfect for fried chicken or any meat that is fried. It helps to demolish the oily flavor or taste in any fried meat. Listen to the crunchy sound of this chicken. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Give a big like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to eat well, live healthy, live long. Bye for now.